So today we are going to discuss whether it's worth it to go for masters or just get a job if you can. And as you know, this type of question is not a yes or no answer. Whatever I say in this video is just my personal opinion and not some, you know, professional advice. So let's get straight into it. First, I'm going to start with reasons why you should get a master's degree. It could be that you want to get more, you know, knowledge, learn a particular field, you want to go deeper in it, then of course you can get your master's. Or maybe you want to have a change in career. Like for example, you got a bachelor's in chemical engineering and you want to go deeper into the renewable energy sector. So you can go for master's in sustainable energy. That can really come in handy. Another reason is maybe you want to be qualified for a particular job. Because I've noticed that there are some vacancies that if you apply for them, Part of the requirements is that you must have a master's degree. So for those type of roles, yes, you can use your master's degree. Another reason why you should get a master's is when you want salary increase. And I think this is for people that are already working and, you know, they want to improve, they want some, you know, promotion. And for this, they require, you know, a master's degree. Why not? You can go for a master's degree in this occasion. Next, let's go to reasons why you should not get a master's degree. Number one is cost. Master's degree is really costly, especially in, you know, America, Europe, and so on. And the next one is time. It's usually two years, though in the UK, I think it's one year. So instead of the time you're supposed to be using to, you know, be getting some experience and so on, you're out there going for master's. Now, this is very crucial because... In the industry of chemical engineering, since that's what we are using uh, as an example, they value experience more than just, you know, university education. What I mean by that is your experience after your bachelor's is more valuable than your master's degree. Yes, the experience, your work experience is more valuable than your master's degree. Let me make an example. Let's imagine two individuals, right? They graduated from, you know, bachelors together. One decided to go for master's, one got a job. I know it's not easy to get a job immediately after graduation, but let's assume he got a job immediately after graduation. So while this one is, you know, going for his master's, you know, studying for two years and so on, this same guy, for the two years, he's, you know, improving, getting paid, Luckily, lucky enough, he can be, you know, promoted from, you know, junior engineer to like manager and so on. So after the two to three years, this would have a master's degree, while this will have, you know, one to two to three years of experience. In the job of, sorry, in the field of chemical engineering, this person with experience is more valuable to the market than this one with just a master's degree. Because university education is not good at, you know, transferable skills to the job market. What they really want are people that can give them results, people with experience. But you just have university education, so your value isn't as much, you know, it isn't high as much as, you know, they want. Now, this is just an example. It might not be the case uh, for your country or whatsoever or for the company you're applying to. And it might not be the case for, you know, the field. Like, for example, there are some fields where master's is really valuable, even if you don't have much experience yet. So take note of that. The next reason why you should not get a master's is that the increase in salary that you might be expecting is not guaranteed. You know, earlier I mentioned that one of the reasons why you should get a master's is because of, you know, increase in salary. But in this case, I'm saying you should not get a master's because that increase is not guaranteed. I think the the best one is for you to get a job and then after some years, go for the master's. And in this case, you might be lucky your company might fund your master's. Like this is the best. This is the one that I hope to get. With all that I've said, I think that a bachelor's graduate with more experience is more valuable than a master's student. Than, than someone with just a master's degree. Unless if the person, you know, went through some internships, 
during the course of his studies, those internships can count as zero experience. For example, in the UK, a lot of you know engineers are pushed to go for their masters because it helps them in being accredited by some you know engineering societies or institutions. These are some examples, you know, based on location and so on. And like talking about other fields of study, like for example, law, medicine, these are some fields where after your degree, you have to go for further studies, maybe like go to law school and so on. You can't just finish uh, your law degree and your, your next year in the court defending someone like it doesn't work that way. You have to go for further, you know, qualifications. Just like with medicine, you can't just finish university and then go with your CV to some hospital that you want to start practicing medicine. Like, it doesn't work that way. So for some fields, you actually need to go for further you know, education. But for engineering, I believe that you are mostly okay with your bachelor's. Then later on, you can go for the master's. Except for, there's one, biomedical engineering. I learned that in the field of biomedical engineering, they really value people with master's. Then in that case, go for the master's. Now, this is the exact situation that I find myself. I am in this situation where I'm looking for jobs and I'm also looking for master's. But it's very important to point out that if you are unable to get a job, it's better you just go for the master's. Even though we said a person with bachelor's and experience is you know, more valuable. But in a situation where you're just at home, you know, less busy, you can just go for the master's. Because uh, it's better to be doing that than to just be sitting home. I really appreciate you sticking with me in this video. If you have any input, if you don't agree or you agree with some things, please make sure you put it in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Signing off now. See you on the next one.